My name is Elise and I'm a metal artist. I have four dogs, they're all rescues, and I love them. I've been home with them almost every day since COVID happened. I don't like being without them now. <laughs> One of my favorite parts is picking stones because they're just they're just so beautiful. I usually don't start having a design unless it's a custom. I usually just like forming metal and then hope that something comes up along the way, but there's like lots of filing, lots of there's just patience and sometimes if I like fire it too much, it all melts and all my work just is gone. Whenever I see a finished product, it's amazing that my hands did that. <laughs> And I've had my sisters and my family has offered to like help me with packaging and I'm like, no, no, like this is, I need to do this for myself because in my head, there's no, there's no second option. Like this is it, I need this to work. I feel thankful that like no one can take that away from me besides these hands because with rheumatoid arthritis, it's progressive and I don't know how, how long I can. So I'm gonna, I'm, I'm going to create as much as I can <laughs> right now. I had a hard time accepting that I was sick, and I still do. There's days, especially when I'm feeling not great physically, um, that I realize how much it does affect me. But it, every, every day, sometimes I can't even like leave the bed and brush my teeth or braid my hair. Every morning I stretch. I just do like gentle stretches, because when I don't, I, re I relate it to like the Tin Man from uh, Wizard of Oz like I feel just like so stiff my pain is focused it's mostly like in my upper neck and in my my lower joints and my wrists people do definitely minimize their disability because they can't see it and I look I look like a normal freaking person and I'm my body's not <laughs> I ride my motorcycle I have tattoos like I People think I have a certain look, and they judge me based off of that. Riding my bike and doing jewelry, those are my escapes. I would rather be doing something that I enjoyed and it hurting than like doing something that I hated and it hurting. It's like the only time that I'm, I'm like, shit, dude, I'm a badass. <laughs> In my gear and everything, like at a stoplight, and I'm like, yeah, like none of these people know that my body is so sore right now. They just know that there's this chick on a motorcycle and that's all that matters. <laughs> this disease has taken a, a huge part of me away. Like I have to ask for help now a lot of the times, opening jars or like brushing my hair. And I used to never have to do that. And so that just irritates me. My therapy appointment last week when I had to put, push back dates because of my hand, she had offered me like putting a disclaimer. I am disabled, sometimes things get pushed back. I feel like if I put that out there, then people are only going to like me or support me because I have something wrong with me. Say that, then people, like with my jewelry, people will just buy my jewelry because I'm sick or like just talk to me because I'm sick. It's hard for me to be thought of as a sick person, but I am. I would want to change people's willingness to believe that there are invisible illnesses and that we're not faking it and that young people can be sick. I don't know, I feel like that, that would just change a lot if we could just open people's eyes to the, just those simple things.